trying this a new way. I've never done it like this before. I got a bootleg tripod because I need to get hand gestures in here more. I saw that in the video for Vanessa Van Hudgens. Gotta move more. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird opening to a video. But why you should read books? And I'm not pulling out this specific book to recommend this book. The reason I have this book is because it fits into my pocket. That's literally why I have this book right now. I have a book sitting on top of my car in the dashboard. I'm gonna mess up the camera by doing this, but I wanna show you guys. Oh, for proof. Boom. There's a book underneath my glasses. Now I'll try to see if I can get this back. In the right position with my bootleg tripod set up. I also, the reason I show you that this book was in my pocket, I have that book there. I had a book that was also stuffed underneath my seat and I gave it to a friend. That's why I don't have it there anymore because I thought my friend could have used the book more. I'm not even telling you that I'm a great reader and I love reading. I'm telling you, I put this book in my pocket, I put that book there and I put a book under my seat in my bag that I carry with me every day. I put a book there too. I surrounded myself with books. I brought a bunch of books so I could literally force myself to read books. Because you know, you grow up and you know you need to read books. You know it's crucial, it's important to read books. You know, you know everybody who's great, Warren Buffett out there, Bill Gates, they say they read lots of books. And you know, you can also look at the dream book. I don't feel like this is the best example I run right now. But the dream book, you know, it helps teaches you about life. It helps you understand your dreams more. So maybe it is a good example. So it actually, it gives you insight. It gives you more meaning, more depth into why you're here, what you're meant to do, or more clarity on what you're supposed to do and how to do it, or even just even simpler. I've learned so, read so much. I think most of the stuff I probably read on videos I've watched is about human to human interactions, which is why I'm able to stand here, make this video for you, why I speak with this confidence, why I speak in this way, it's because not because I was born gifted, it's because I learned. It's what gave me the ability to be here right now in front of you. And now what I really want to kind of dive into with this video is specifically a little bit about books versus just listening to inspirational messages like you're doing right now with this video so it's the perfect time perfect oh how's that camera angle Ooh, is that, is that gonna be my thumbnail right there why you should read books that might be my thumbnail i don't know how it looks though i don't have a flip screen but yeah so i wanted to talk about that because you know you're doing this right now you're watching an educational informative video and i'm not saying to not do that anymore but i want to explain the power of reading books and why i think it's essential essential for your growth now yeah i kind of get back to one point i didn't like to read books i hated reading books when i was a teenager i bought halo books halo books you know, it was related to a video game that I played and the story was actually good. It was the first book I've ever read in my life. You know, and this really kind of does really stand from the fact that all the books I've read before them was because some school gave me for the most part or just some like kids books, some like little small things. So this is the first book I ever read in my life that I actually thought was good. And I actually enjoyed it and I actually wanted to read it and I couldn't finish the book. I brought several of them. I only read about half of one of them and then at some point, not too long ago, I got rid of them because I didn't think they were the books I should read anymore. And it just, it was why, it was so hard for you to read the book and so that's why I want to kind of make this video because now you're here, you're watching the informative video and it's great, it's powerful to watch these videos like this because you can be cooking, you can be taking a shower and you can hear me and I'll speak so many words from you. You got audio books these days and Audible is amazing or you don't have to use Audible, I'm not sponsored by them. If they want to sponsor me, hey, we'll make an Audible sponsorship. How you guys doing? I want to tell you about Audible today. <laughs> But the point being that, you know, audio, audio books are great because you can even double the speed, you can drive your car. Point of all this being is that, yeah, I think this is great what you're doing right now. I do it myself. Most of my information comes from watching other people's videos on YouTube. That's where I've gotten most of my information, my self growth from, because there's just, you can't always sit down and just read the book. You just, you can't do that. You have only so much time to literally sit down and read a book and if you can listen to somebody tell you a book while you're taking a shower even or while you're driving a car while you're doing other things when you can't read a book you just 
gaining so much information, so much knowledge, and it just comes at you faster. I'm a slow reader. Let me tell you that, I'm a slow reader. If this book was an audio book, I would have probably finished it within an hour. It may be if you could double the speed, who knows, maybe in a half hour I would have finished this book. I feel like I've been reading this book for like two hours and I'm not done with reading it, but I want to explain to you why I'm still reading the book and why I don't just listen to audio books and why I like reading books. Is that when I'm sitting here and I'm reading the book, is I can just directly reflect on every single thing as it comes to me and I can directly reflect how it relates to me, how I can use this in my life. And see now you can do that when you're listening to an audio video, an audio book, a video, whatever. You can do that obviously, but now you have to take out your phone, you have to go to your computer, you have to pause it, and you have to sit there and you have to consciously reflect on it unless you're just okay with missing more information. So there's the problem that if you keep, if you don't pause it, you're gonna miss something else. And like, granted, sure, that just seems like it's easy to do. I can just pause it, listen to it, but that kind of defeats the purpose that you're doing something else, you're listening to it, it's a distraction, it's a complication. The point I'm trying to make is that when you're reading the book, there's nobody talking. There's nobody that's gonna keep talking. You're reading it to yourself. You're reading, you're hearing the book in your own words. It's going deep into your subconscious mind. It's being embedded in your root, in your core. Now you you can actually not just have the thought in your head that this is what I should do. It's like you feel like this is what you should do because you read it to yourself and it's subconsciously just embodied inside of you because you actually read it in your mind. And the thing is, when I'm reflecting on it, since the words are mine that I'm reading, I can reflect as I'm reading the book. I don't have to pause and separately reflect some other guy talking or some other woman talking so I can reflect. I'm just reflecting on it as I'm reading the book. There is no pausing. It's just, it's going at my own pace. I'm taking in, really, I just want trying to say is that because I'm reading the book, instead of listening to the audio video, I'm able to take it in at so much more depth and I'm able to so greatly more understand and just take it in and be able to turn this from a hammer like I told my son this analogy that you keep you're here collecting all these hammers but I don't see you nailing in any any nails into the wall now this book is a hammer it gives me a tool and because I'm sitting here reading it it is gonna allow me to actually be able to apply what I've learned in real life so much more I don't know I feel this hand gestures they feel so natural to me I don't know I don't, I'm not just doing this more all that being said, I do want to say I'm not telling you to not listen to audio videos because like I said, there's, I can learn so much faster. Like I said, this book in an hour, half hour, I would have read it. Potentially, I could have read this book like five times by today, but because I'm reading it, I'm like halfway through the book. I'm a slow reader. But what I want to tell you is that the words that I have read in here, they really impacted me a much more deeper level than I would have if I listened to it. So please, I love the, I, this is, I'm making the audio video. So of course I want you to still listen to it. I'm still, I'm not telling you I don't listen to audio stuff. I'm telling you I still do, but I'm trying to say to do both. And if you have time where you really can sit down and you're sitting down listening to somebody talk, Maybe try to see if you could actually read a book and see if you feel what I'm trying to express to you that that way you get a deeper connection with it and you feel like it actually impacts your life more. It helps you actually improve yourself. Embody, and I want to leave with this last message, there's a difference between knowing and understanding something. You can know meditating is good for you, but for you to understand that meditating is good for you, you have to actually do it and see that is good for you. And now you understand. Not it's just a thought in my mind. Meditating is good for me. Meditating is good for me. You actually do it and you actually see how it betters your life. Now you understand. And through that understanding, is I feel like is the only way you truly know something. I don't know everything in the world, but what I do have is a lot of understanding of the things I know. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a better life because you saw this video. I hope you guys pick up. It doesn't have to be specifically this book. This book I'm holding, if anyone wants to know, it's called The Dream Book. I don't know how you see that. Woo, woo, woo. But I encourage you, pick a book you like. Easy way to do this, what do you want to learn? Who do you want to be? What kind of person do you want to become? 
What skills are you going to need to be that person? And honestly, you know, maybe you want to start a business, so you got to le- you read sales, you read marketing, you read business. Maybe you want to be an artist and you read about different art techniques. Maybe you want to you want to be a singer. So you read a book about vocal and throat exercises to strengthen your muscles in your throat so that you can actually sing better. There are singers that spend hours every single day of their life doing really weird and awkward and just like bizarre looking vocal exercises that help them sing better. There are things you can learn. You can learn anything you want to learn to make your life better. It just takes the will and the desire to learn. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a better life.